Hello everybody, this is Naomi. Today I am back to do a collab with Timu. Uh, they had contacted me and they wanted to know if I wanted to could do a collab with them. And I said yes. So this is my first collab with Timu. Um, I've already opened it up and I've just pulled it out. Everything's still in the bags. Because uh, they had it well packaged, as you see, well taped. And trying to get these bigger items out of that was almost complicated. And then they come in these nice, and I keep these bags, and I use them for storage. For things in my craft room. Okay, and I will have uh, all the information of each individual item in my comment section that way you can go back and reorder them and it has the price and everything uh, whether it will have the same price when you go in because they they run out so quickly but i will have all that information in the comment section first off is i got these um LED lights for the pumpkins, or you can put them in other containers like um, plastic um, Halloween things, uh, anything you really want to put them in to where um, you can light them up. And what I liked about these is you can change them any of these colors. You can have them flashing, you can have them in a strobe, you can have them in a fade, or even a smooth. And it's all battery operated, and you get four of them. My plan is to put them in actual real pumpkins and carve them and then put them in it. I think these will be so pretty. My husband has some of these top lights in my in our in our house that he likes to turn the lights out and watch them strobe so or dance around. So I thought they would be pretty cool in a pumpkin. Or and I've got some uh, actual jack old jack o' lanterns that has the cats and stuff on them that I think would go pretty with that too. So. And I will be doing another video of how I use these in the end. It won't be now, but it'll be later in the month. Because I haven't even started decorating for Halloween yet. But the fun is yet to come. Okay. And then this is the second thing that I ordered. And I cannot wait to use these. This is kind of what I wanted to do with my front yard last year. But I couldn't find what I was looking for. I like the Anderson Sisters. And I did a... Um, um, Oh, a pot that hung out on the TP top thing last year. Put lights in it. And I never could figure out how to do the Anderson sisters. And then this year, this came out. And with the opportunity that they gave me, I took it. And all you do is you put these in the ground. You put a light behind them. And these are metal. So they're not going to blow away. They're not gonna. They're not gonna break the little tin pieces. Let me get my scissors. Be so much easier to get these out of here. So yes, very excited. Um, Halloween is my time of the year, 
and and not for the spook. I like it for the kind of the spooky part of it, but the and I know so many people don't like Halloween, so please forgive me. I'm not into the devil stuff and all of that, but it's just the fun part of it. You know, seeing the kids dress up, having a good time, that kind of stuff. That's what I like. Kids don't get to be kids long enough anymore. Okay, so I'm going to lay these down here where you can see them all. And I was afraid I wouldn't be able to get everything high enough, but it's going to work. Thank goodness. But you put a light behind these. And then uh, they reflect up on your house. And I am just going to love this. So, like I said, I will be doing a video. And I, you will get to see all of this outside lit up. And how it's supposed to, um, my husband, I've already talked to him about it. We're going to get, um, like a board and he's going to fix them to where they'll go down in the board and sit up a little higher. That way you get the full image of the piece and it shows everything on the, on the house. And then you just, and, and if you keep this little box. You have the perfect storage, and what I would do is take some tissue paper, just like this, put one of them in the middle of the tissue paper, put the other one over the top, and that keeps them from getting all scuffed up and you put another piece of tape on it you write on it what it is voila it is put back up so there's two things for my halloween club and i've got two more and this is an even bigger envelope so here's this and here's that uh, this is going to go into the, uh, cemetery part of, um, my, um, uh, theme, because, you know, with the Anderson sisters, you have the cemetery, and excuse me for this rattling paper. Let me get rid of it. But here are the stakes. They're good. Those are nice, heavy plastic stakes. So I kind of like that. And these are the cardboard, but they're um, they're the plasticky uh, like cardboard. So, it says, turn back, oops, Ooh, look at that picture, okay, there you go, danger, beware, go away, keep out, And then you have this one. It says, do not enter. And then you have this one that says, with the witch, that says, boom. Oh, I can't wait to get this set up. And I'll probably have a light on these as well where you can really see them. But these are pretty good sized pieces. Which I will probably make some more uh, steaks with um, I'll go to Dollar Tree and get some of their um, 
uh, what do you call them, dowel rods, they're little thin ones, and I'll use those as well, that way you got multiples to secure them so that the wind don't blow them all over the place, but I'll give you one more look at these, now, ah, just, that's going to look real good with all my headstones that I've got. I'd like to find a, like a scarecrow or, um, oh, what's his name that comes, Billy, that comes up out of the, the grave. I'd like to find something like that, and I will be looking, because if I can find anything that looks like he's crawling up out of the grave, I can always use him for Billy. And then I got to find a black cat. So, and then these, what I'm going to do with these for storage the bag that they came in since it's an oversized bag these will just be put back in the bag and these can all be stored right here in this bag in my totes and they don't get scuffled up or messed up Okay, and for the last of this, uh, these are little bats. Okay, I was thinking they would be a little bit bigger, but they'll still work because my thoughts is I want to put them uh, I'll put a couple different ones up at, like like they're flying in front of the lot with the with the witches which will reflect then I can put some of them on the house and there's different shapes there's this shape and there's this shape. And I think those are the same. Oh, here's a couple of bigger ones. Okay, it comes with the little sticky pads. Um, I'll just have to see what works. Because I may end up having to get some like that silly putty stuff that you get. And because around my house, the wind blows like there's no tomorrow. And I believe there's 50 of them. Let me double check real quick. Forty-eight. There's 48 of them. So, and you, like I said, you get them in all shapes and sizes. And then these, whenever I get done with these, they'll just go into a Ziploc baggie and be stored that away. Because I'll have some of these on my front porch. Some of these. Um, let me lay these out where you can see them. Um, some of them out on the front porch. With my. Uh, uh, decorations there. Because I have an actual witch that stays out on my front porch year round because I have a screened in front porch and I really don't have a place to store her so she just stays on the front porch okay so there is okay those are all the same. That's what I was trying to do was these are just smaller. I 
But these are the five shapes. And like I said, they got the, uh, their own little individual stickies. I don't know how well they are. We will find out. And if if they don't if they don't work, then like I said, I'll get some of that putty stuff. That works pretty good. Because all you're going to do is just put it right here just to... Because they're bent to where the wings kind of lean forward. So all that's going to be touching is this section here. So... That's pretty cool. So, this is part of my collab. I'm sure there will be more. Um, like I said, I will be doing a video later. Once I get everything set up for for Halloween. And, you, and I will do a video on each individual item that I just showed you in this collab in the video. So, thank you, and I hope everyone has a happy and a blessed day. If you like my video, hit the like and subscribe, and I've got more coming. Thank you.